So if you've been watching my videos, um, you've seen me build a uh, pallet breaker bar without any welding. Well, uh, this is what happened. I tried to fix it, I tried to weld, but uh, it's cast, so it doesn't weld unless you get uh, the proper heat and everything. So, yeah, it worked until I hit some uh, um, hardwood. Okay, so that what pushed me to build an improved one. Okay, um, <clears throat> and I'll show you how I built it today. That's pretty cool. Okay, it works awesome. Even the uh, a nail puller. A lot of paddle wood was starting to accumulate on the side of my house, and I gave away my good paddle breaker. So it was time to build a new one. This one. This piece I got from, I think, Princess Auto. It was four feet long, and uh, I cut the first piece at three and a half inch at 45 degrees with my grinder. To grind, I had to use the grinder wheel, not the cutting wheel, because it's too dangerous. So I just replaced it so I can just chamfer the uh, the corners at uh, approximately 45 degrees so I have a better uh, better weld I tacked my piece on four sides using the uh, magnet to make sure it's at 90 degrees after that I just went all out and uh, start welding my four sides I just used the grinder to clean some of the weld. The location of that bolt is really important. It has to be the closest to that bottom brace so you don't overstress your, uh, your weld. I pre-drilled my hold and then I went with a 3 inch, a uh, 3 eighths of an inch hole to fit my, uh, my bolt. So here's one of the flaws on some pallets, they're really narrow and my pry bar had trouble getting in. The other one is it was too short for the 5.5 inch wide uh, board so it just cracked it in the middle. Really disappointing. So to fix the first flaw I just cut the corner of it and welded another piece to fill the, uh, the gap. So just to clean up my uh, my brutal weld, I just used a grinder with paper, sandpaper, and that worked good. Uh, it works awesome for uh, for smaller boards, no need for it. But since I have boards that are uh, five and a half inch wide, uh, I added this uh, these two pieces of metal parallel to each other. They're three sixteen of an inch uh, thick, and to bolt them together, I just uh, did a pilot hole and then I drilled a uh, 3 inch hole for a bolt and then uh, off camera I uh, welded those two pieces together also I uh, cut a V at the bottom so I can uh, pry some nails so this is the same board that was already cracked by uh, my test previously and now I'm just gonna remove it and it didn't crack uh, any uh, any more than it was before. We put an even pressure everywhere, which is awesome. So the little notch I made on uh, the bottom, it worked awesome. Out of uh, a uh, couple of hundred nails there's only maybe eight heads that uh, that popped off and it was easy to remove them with a pair of uh, uh, pliers or vice grips it saved me some work with the uh, the hammer
All right, let's talk about that pry bar or that power breaker. <laughs> it's awesome. It's awesome. It worked awesome. Uh, these uh, five and a half piece of wood, it didn't crack. It just broke through the nails and that happens because nails are hard to, to pull. Uh, and it's really easy. What made it easy is the location of this pin. Okay, it has to be the closest as possible to to uh, to this arm basically. And uh, the bigger the bigger the pin can be, this pin, the beefier, the less uh, damage it will create to the wood. And I would have made it a little bit longer. So eventually, I think I'm gonna remove that and and uh, rebore the hold and put a bigger pin, as big as I could. Uh, and uh, at the end of here, I'll put a, uh, a flat bar that's going to uh, join the two. Uh, so it gives it a little bit more strength. Oh, and off camera, I did a, uh, a nail puller. It's just basically a V with the, uh, the grinder. It worked awesome. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Uh, this I had to shave because uh, in some of the pallets, the, the wood is uh, much closer to each other. And... Uh, so I just, I just cut it. Um, this pin is the location is really important because it uh, it removes some of the stress that you're creating in this uh, this joint. So uh, if I would if all my pallets would have been uh, like a three three and a half inch, I wouldn't have no, never needed this because it would have just pried off. But since uh, some of my pallets they have uh, five and a half inch wide boards, which is awesome. Uh, that's why I created this uh, this long piece. Uh, if you got an idea what color I should paint, just leave it in the comments below. Uh, I do hydro uh, hydrographic, so I could put skulls and flames and all sorts of goodies. Um, this I should have put a bolt and leave the head and just weld the head on it, and on the other side the nut and uh, tied it to the pressure I wanted, and also uh, weld the whole thing together. That's I might do that in the future or oh, when it breaks so yeah oh if uh, if you do have a video that's similar to this and uh, you created your own uh, power breaker bar I would love to see it so leave it in the comments below uh, if you're new to this channel uh, maybe you want to think of subscribing and give me a big old thumbs up and uh, I guess uh, I'll see you on the next one <laughs> cheers Looks like a hockey stick.